If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? Well, what I've done in the past and what I con will continue to do in the future is to make sure that we have a very business-friendly state that has less regulation, low taxes, and make sure that we have a good talent supply, that we have students who are graduating from our high schools and our colleges and universities with the skill set they need to be a good employee. I think if you have a good workforce, you have a lot of business opportunities, um, and, in the, and the rising tide floats all boats. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? I think we need to have everything on the, on the table with regards to health care. We need to be looking at all the new innovative technologies that are coming into place. I think telemedicine is, a, is important to make sure we look at how we work with that. But in addition, I think one of the biggest things is what many of our hospitals and health clinics are doing is making sure our population is healthy, teaching a healthy lifestyle, making sure we do more of the preventative. When a, when a patient's diagnosed with diabetes, teaching that patient what diabetes means and how they can best treat their, their illness. So I think you need to have twofold. You need to have a good health care system, but you also need to have everybody involved in making sure that we have um, a healthy lifestyle. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 through education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? Uh, the education system is something I've been working in for the last few years. I think our biggest challenge is that we have children are learning differently than they've learned before. They have a different mode of education. They've got online. They're learning information through their smartphones. Um, we need to make sure that our education grows with that and that we are teaching our children in all the kinds of various different ways and the way that works best for them, making sure they have choices, making sure our parents have choices recognizing that not every student learns the same way and therefore there needs to be many opportunities so that a parent can figure out what mode of education works best for their child and then have those opportunities for their child to have that kind of an education. My name is Kelly Stargell. I'm running for Senate District 22 which encompasses a lot of Polk County and part of Lake County um, and you can find out more about me on votestargell.com.